Hello, my name is Maria Umanyas and I am an artist. I grew up in large family and the love of paintings has been installed in everyone from childhood. But I was a lucky one to have art remain in my heart for the rest of my life. And now I install a love of art in my children. I draw during any free moments, regardless of where I am. Drawing inspires me and relaxes me after a hard days of work. It fills me with thanks to implement big plans and ideas. My works have appeared in a large mall in Kiev, in my hometown. Also, my artworks took part in exhibitions in Shanghai, Zurich, Lugano, Bellinzona, and Milan, and reserved awards. I created the artwork in the Ukrainian series because I didn't want to be silent. Through my art, I told how Ukraine was being occupied by Russia for the many years. So I left a trace in history because everyone finds what they would like to see in each picture. I started to draw this collection of artwork back in 2016 because I was shocked by the history of my people. The Ukrainian people can endure so much suffering and the fighting for their independence to this day. My art is a reflection of today's world, the war, beautiful nature and modern technologies. Life forces us to leave our home after the Russian Federation attacked the territory of Ukraine. We moved to wonderful Switzerland where my family and I were given shelter. At this place, I have more time and opportunities for creativity. Unbreakable. The female image in the picture is an image of Ukraine, a young and beautiful girl who was fooled and robot for years even her last shirt was taken away. They imposed foreign ideas and worldview on her. But the pain of loss and disbelief helped her to realize herself and find her way in the dark. Embroidering the coat and arms on the skin is a visualization of the pain of losing one's sons and daughters in the war. A signal to the world that Ukraine has finally realized itself as a person and will always remember the pain and the terrible price it pays for it. Where the needle goes, the goes the three. Ukrainian proverb that describes the inseparable bond between two people, husband and wife. The one person follow another in view, action, deed. Unfortunately, because of the war, this connection was broken. Millions of families were forced to separate. This tragedy is expressed in the image of a Ukrainian woman who holds a separate needle and three. This woman is a guardian of the family. Around her neck is a traditional necklace with a dunya amulet, a symbol of family unity. And around her is six smoke, symbolizing the uncertainty on the future human destiny. Indifference. The ballerina is a symbol of Russian culture and its achievements. This ballerina is a generalized image of all cultural and show business figures who kept silence or supported the terrible war of Russia against Ukraine. Her face is covered by a television test chart symbolizing propaganda. It corroded the brain and blinded the Russian people and culture. The ballerina's hands in blood are the collective responsibility of all those who started, supported or kept silent about this terrible war. The ballerina continued to dance, a symbol of the fact that those involved in the regime and propaganda continue to entertain their people, pretending that nothing seems to be happening. On the soul there is an inscription made in Russia, and a mouse is drawn. This is one of the nicknames of the tyrant Putin. Ukraine. A portrait of a woman is a symbol of Ukraine. Her eyes are tied with a blue-yellow ribbon, symbolizing uncertainty in the future and the absence of a clear vision of her destiny, her self-indification. Blood from under the flag 
years for illegally convicted and executed sons and daughters of the Ukrainian land as a result of unsuccessful attempt to find their way and determine their future. Long hair braided in a braid like the roots of a centuries-old oak tree symbolizes history. Flowers in the hair are a symbol of talented people, artists and activists who give hope for the future and prosperity. Hope. This picture is a tribute to all the victims of the Holodomor on the territory of Ukraine in 1932-1933. Millions of people died from an artificially created famine by the Bolsheviks. The skull in the picture is a symbol of genocide. Poppies and blood are symbol of those shot for collecting scraps of crops from state fields in the hope of saving their relatives from starvation. A fresh poppy sprout that has not yet opened is a symbol of hope for the revival of the nation.